one, Ellen finds out that Carter Boswell is running for the school board. He's running for the school board. The election's next month. Ellen is upset because Boswell wants to cut the school cultural programs. No music, no dance, no concert, no stage presentations. Philip thinks Boswell will win the election. But it sounds to me like Carter Boswell is going to win the seat on the board. Oh, not if I can stop him. What will Ellen do? Don't believe it. What's wrong? Carter Boswell. Who's Carter Boswell? He's running for the school board. The election's next month. Ooh. What's wrong with wanting to be on the school board? Nothing. But he wants to cut the school budget. Maybe it needs cutting. <sighs> cutting the budget is fine, but he wants to do it by cutting all the cultural programs. No music, no dance, no concert, no stage presentations. Why does he want to do that? says it's to save the taxpayers money. And I think he believes that the taxpayers will vote for him if he spends less on the cultural programs. He's probably right. Uh, lots of people want their taxes used for new books and uh, new paint job in the schoolrooms. Maybe some of us would like to pay a little bit more and keep the cultural programs for our kids. Well, I'm not sure, Ellen. I, uh, I hear it from my patients. Lots of people are tired of higher taxes. I know. But if Boswell wins, he'll be an important decision maker on the school board. And he doesn't know anything about our children's education. Uh, who's running against him? Nobody. That's the problem. Well, it sounds to me like Carter Boswell is going to win the seat on the board. Oh, not if I can stop him. And uh, how are you going to stop him? No. Maybe I'll run against him. Well, you've got my vote. If I'm serious, Philip, why shouldn't I run? Why shouldn't you run for what, Mom? Your mother is thinking of running for the school board. Hey, that's terrific, Mom. <laughs> against Carter Boswell? Great. Well, I I if I run for office, the voters will have a clear choice. I stand for everything Boswell doesn't. <laughs> I think a lot of people will vote for you against Boswell, Ellen. I'll vote for you. Will you help me if I do run? Absolutely. <sighs> the trouble is it takes a little bit of money to run a campaign. I think you can make a difference, Ellen. And in a short campaign, you wouldn't need as much money. You know something, Ellen? Why not give the people of Riverdale a clear choice? I'm with you. You can make a difference. Come in. Mr. Maxwell. Yes. Charles Maxwell. Uh, my name is Ellen Stewart. <laughs> Hello. Um, please, sit down. Oh. Hmm. You asked to see me. What would you like to see me about? I'd, I'd like your help. Well, I'm editor of the most influential newspaper in Riverdale. Actually, it's the only newspaper. <laughs> a lot of people would like my help. Do you have a story? I'm planning to run for the school board. Against Carter Boswell? Yes. Well, that is news. Will you announce that I'm running? Sure, but I need some information. Of course. Why will the voters vote for you against Boswell, Mrs. Stewart? Because I care. Vote for Ellen Stewart. She cares. Not a bad slogan. But uh, what do you care about? Well, I care about the children of our town. I don't want them to grow up without cultural programs in our school. Do you have a plan? I want our children to learn more than reading, writing, and, and arithmetic. 
I want to keep the after-school programs, the music, the concerts. It's not a bad plan. But who's going to pay for all of this? We are. The citizens of Riverdale, of course. I plan to get help from the businessmen and the corporations of Riverdale. Hmm. That's fair enough. Exactly what do you want from me, Mrs. Stewart? You don't know me. I can't expect you to take my side against Boswell. But I do need some publicity so that the people of our town know that I'm running for office and that I care about our children. Fair enough. I certainly can print the news, and you are now making news. <sighs> Why will the voters vote for you against Boswell, Mrs. Stewart? Because I care. Vote for Ellen Stewart. She cares. Not a bad slogan. Ellen Stewart, she cares. It is a good campaign slogan. People will hear it and know what I stand for. I care. I care about our children's education. Not just the school buildings themselves, but the children. I care about what children study and what they learn. I want them to learn about a variety of subjects, including music and literature and art. And I care about our children's activities after school. I want to keep their music programs, like the orchestra. And the chorus. I want children to experience the joys of music. I play the piano myself, and I've taught music to many children in Riverdale. I want to keep the other after-school programs, too. I have a plan. I'll get local businesses, banks, and other companies in the community to help. We all have children in this town, and I believe that parents care about education. And I want to be on the Riverdale School Board. I know it's a big responsibility, but I know I can make a difference because I care. In Act Two, everyone helps Ellen and her campaign. Grandpa gets the flyers printed. Here are the flyers. Hot off the press. Marilyn and Richard prepare the envelopes. We finished addressing over 300 envelopes. And Robbie and his friends tell people about Ellen's campaign. Mr. Nelson? Thanks. Hi, this is Robbie Stewart. Did you know my mother is running for the school board? Later, the family sees Boswell in a commercial on television. And if you ask what I care about, I'll tell you. What will Boswell say? Here are the flyers, hot off the press. Oh, looks good. Simple. Right over here, Grandpa. You fold the flyers. Richard and I will put them into the envelopes. We finished addressing over 300 envelopes. Uh, need another box? Oh, good work, gang. Hi, this is Mike Johnson. Can I speak with Mr. and Mrs. Anderson? Mr. Nelson? Thanks. Hi, this is Robbie Stewart. Did you know my mother is running for the school board? Yes, Miss Kim. Ellen Stewart. She cares. Oh, see you at the falls. Certainly. I'll give you your best wishes, Mr. Nelson. Yeah. Hi, this is Mike Johnson. Can I speak with Mr. and Mrs. Burns? Thank you. We have done so much in such a short amount of time, I can't believe it. Wait till Philip comes home and sees our progress. Yeah. Everyone saw the story in the Riverdale newspaper. Mr. Maxwell was very kind to print my announcement. It helps enormously. Everybody in Riverdale reads his paper. <clears throat> your photo in it helped, too. Thanks to you, Richard. It's a good picture. <laughs> Well, hi all. Hi, Hello, now. darling. Hi. Yeah, may I, uh, may I help? Mm-hmm. Licking envelopes. I fold the flyers. We stuff them. And I lick the envelopes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hey, everybody. Mrs. Greenberg is on the phone. She says Carter Boswell is on the TV right now, doing a commercial. Oh, uh, what channel? Five. Five? what I care about, I'll tell you. I care about the school buildings in need of paint. I care about 
more lockers for the teachers. I care about new fixtures in the hallways. Not music or dancing or entertainment. I care about the practical things. If you do, vote for me, Carter Boswell. A lot of people will agree with him. I told you. Too bad kids can't vote. It's our school, but we can't vote. There are people in favor of the cultural programs, Mom. There are, Ellen. Don't be upset by Boswell's commercial. You have to go on television, too. Oh, Boswell's a powerful speaker. Well, you can be, too. Your ideas are good ones. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm up to it. what we say. Get out and vote on election day. You can make a difference. It's up to you. We need your vote if you want better schools. So clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Ellen Stewart's running for the school board. And we know she can't be beat. I said clap your hands. And stomp your feet. Ellen Stewart's running for the school board. And we know she can't be beat. So vote, vote, vote! If you want better schools, and if you want your vote to count, Ellen Stewart is the one to choose. Who do we want? Ellen Stewart! Who's gonna win? Ellen Stewart! Who do we want? Ellen Stewart! Who's gonna win? Ellen Stewart! Hey, hey! What do you say? Ellen Stewart, all the way! Let's fight for Ellen Stewart. She's the one who's right. So everybody just be aware that Ellen Stewart is the one who cares. She'll make a difference for everyone. Because Ellen Stewart is number one. She knows the importance of music and art. Cultural programs play a big part. Let's keep these programs in our school. Ellen Stewart's for me and you. So let's Give her a cheer, everything's all right, cause Ellen's here. Who do we want? Ellen Stewart. Who do we want? Ellen Stewart. I say yeah. Yeah, we yelling for Ellen. Yeah. Yeah. In act three, Richard and Robbie make a videotape of Ellen as she gives her campaign speech. Vote for me, Ellen Stewart. I care. And Richard figures out a way for people to see the videotape. Vote for me, Ellen Stewart. I care. Later, the family listens to the election news. In the hotly contested race for the one seat on the Riverdale School Board, Mrs. Ellen Stewart has taken an early lead. Will Ellen win the election? My slogan is, I care. I care about people, not things. Vote for me, Ellen Stewart. I care. How was it? You were terrific. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, uh, can I see it? Sure. Hello. My name is Ellen Stewart, and I'm running for the open seat on the school board. My slogan is, I care. What does the word care mean? I care about people, not things. Vote for me, Ellen Stewart. I care. I like it. But now what? How can we possibly get it on so Riverdale will see it and hear it? Leave it to me.
I mean that when I say I care. I care about people, not things. Vote for me, Ellen Stewart. I care. What happened? Mom is now on television. In every appliance store in Riverdale. Except Hamlin's. He's a Boswell voter. Well, that's a brilliant <laughs> idea, Richard. You inherited your father's brain. <laughs> we got our brains from you, Dad. And guess what? I called Channel 5. Their TV news is going to cover it. Housewife campaigns in appliance stores. And I'll bet some magazine will pick up the story, too. Mom, you're going to win. I know it. Hold it, Robbie. Just cool down. I know we're getting some attention now, but in the end, the uh, voters will have to decide. Gonna win, trust me. <laughs> In the hotly contested race for the one seat on the Riverdale School Board, Mrs. Ellen Stewart has taken an early lead. She's now winning. Turning to other Mom, leaders, you're winning. Riverdale High School. It's too soon to know for certain. Well, you're ahead. That's better than being behind. Uh, it's this, not over yet. Let's let's just all calm down and, and wait for the final results. Ellen. Why don't you go out in the backyard and get some fresh air? Thank you, Grandpa. I need some. Oh. came very close, Ellen. You lost by only 121 votes. I lost. You tried, Mom. You lost by a very small number of votes. Only 121 votes. I'm sorry, Mom. It just wasn't enough time. You made a very strong impression on our community. You'll have another chance next election. Hello. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Maxwell. Hello, Mr. Maxwell. How are you? I just called to tell you that you are very impressive. You lost the election, but you won the attention of the residents of Riverdale, of Boswell, and of me. Well, thank you, Mr. Maxwell. I appreciate your kind words. I needed that. I hear Boswell wants to appoint you to a special arts committee. I'm sending over a reporter in the morning to interview you. You are? I'm going to do an article on Ellen Stewart. She cares. Maybe we'll all care now. Goodbye. Thank you. And goodbye. What was that about? You were right, Philip. I did make a difference in town. And in this family. Good evening. An important local election took place today in Riverdale. The people of this community elected a new member of the school board, Carter Boswell. Opposing him in the campaign was Ellen Stewart, a housewife from Riverdale. Tonight, We'll take a look at both campaigns. First, we turn to the Boswell campaign. Mr. Boswell reached many voters by appearing on local TV. I care about the school buildings in need of paint. I care about more lockers for the teachers. I care about new fixtures in the hallways. Less than a month ago, a new face entered the race, Ellen Stewart. Mrs. Stewart disagreed with Carter Boswell's plans for the Riverdale schools. 
She campaigned very strongly to keep the cultural programs in music, art, and drama. Local appliance stores played a videotape of Mrs. Stewart introducing herself to the voters. My name is Ellen Stewart, and I'm running for the open seat on the school board. My slogan is, I care. I care about people, not things. Mrs. Stewart's unusual campaign helped her win the attention of the local newspaper. Charles Maxwell, the editor of the Riverdale News, praised Mrs. Stewart for caring about the cultural programs in the schools. When the first votes were counted early in the day, it seemed as if Ellen Stewart might win a surprise victory over Carter Boswell. But once all the votes were counted, Mrs. Stewart lost by only 121 votes. Well, it was a very close election, and Ellen Stewart convinced the people of Riverdale that she cared. She also convinced Carter Boswell, who now wants to appoint Mrs. Stewart to a special committee for cultural programs in the schools. Well, that's our special election day report on a very important local election. Thank you, and have a good evening.